Good day and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to connect your Setup M1 with a data receiver in the T4D server. Let's get started. In your T4D server project, right-click the Trimble 4D Control Server module. Select Insert Module. From the Trimble 4D Control Server pop-up window, select the Data Receiver module and then click OK. A Data Receiver's Properties window will open where you click Add in the top right corner of the pop-up window. You will then be prompted for a configuration name. Once you have entered this, you will need to click Next on the bottom right of the Data Receiver Properties window. This brings you to the Incoming tab. Here you will select Connection Type, which is Setup M1 IST Connect File Based, followed by Custom Name, which is the serial number of your Setup M1. You then need to set Use Secure Connection to Yes. Enter the username and password, which are the username and password you used when registering your M1 to the IST Connect service. Now enter a storage path for where you wish the GKA files from your M1 to be stored. After this, set the download interval to one minute. Then click Next. Under the General Settings tab, you will be prompted for a mission name. Next, we see Weather Condition Settings, which we recommend leaving default. Then click Next. At the Round Settings tab, we recommend leaving everything as default. Click Next. And finally, at the Alarm Settings tab, we leave everything default as well. Click Finish to create your new Data Receiver module in T4D Server. On your newly created Data Receiver module, right-click and select Properties. In the Now Opened Properties window, find the Project Name field and click it. This will produce an icon of a box with three dots. Click this box and T4D will establish a connection to your Setup M1. Select the currently running project from your Setup M1 and click OK. Next, click on the grayed out Download Active field and change this to Yes. Now click Apply. You are now ready to perform a site setup and open the flow of data from your Setup M1. To do this, you need to right-click your Data Receiver module and select Site Setup. Please ignore the Processing Engine Missing window for now by simply clicking Yes. This and creation of other modules will be discussed in another video. In the Site Setup window, which has now opened, click the Connect icon in the Stream Control section. Now that you've initiated your site setup, you need to wait for your currently running round on your M1 to complete. As we have selected a download interval of one minute, we should see the target name list populate within one minute of the completion of this currently running round. After the point list has populated, we now need to turn our attention to the station setup section. First, you need to select a mode. Your options are Station Setup, which uses one backsite, Station Setup Plus, which using multiple backsites, or a resection. We will be using Station Setup Plus for our demo today. Next, you need to select your backsite points. This is done by clicking the box with three dots icon next to the backsites field. In the now opened point information window, hold down the control key on your keyboard and click the targets you wish to use as backsites. Then click OK. Click OK again in the Site Setup window to complete your site setup. You are now ready to create the rest of your T4D monitoring project. For videos on T4D project and module creation, please see the videos in the description linked below. Thank you for watching.